Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this weekend we played in a tournament in Las Vegas, two tournaments, actually three events, and I heard a lot of the guys tell me, Jimmy, I bought the 69 degree wedge, and I can't figure it out. First of all, you haven't practiced with it. Nobody's practiced with it. You need to spend two hours with it. Really get to know it. Take it on a date, buy it dinner, and it'll show you love, just like everything else. But you gotta practice. You gotta learn what to do and where to hit it from. Now, I'm gonna show you that it's not broken. I'm gonna show you that it's you and not the club. This is my favorite club. And if you play with me, you know, I mean, look at this thing. I, I use this thing. It's patina at this point. I use it on almost every hole because I haven't been hitting greens lately. So the first thing we're gonna show you is, I guess this is 30 yards. We're off the green. I can't putt it, it's too far. Now everybody tells you hit a 56, hit a 52, hit a 50 and like run it up there. Well, guess what? When I run it up there, it runs off the green or I don't hit it hard enough and it's short. With this thing, I just go back and through and hit it like I'm trying to hit a shot to the pin. Okay, there's no magic here. I'm just placing the ball here. Wait a minute. There it is. It comes off the fairway. I got to hit a shot up. I go back and forward. Back and forward. That's not very hard. I see a lot of these guys going way up here for a chip shot. What are you doing? It's right there. Just go here. Boom. And hit it up there. Okay, let's go look at it. Let's go see what happened. You saw that it wasn't a lot of work. I just turned back and turned forward. There's the ball. You can probably make that putt. What is that? Four or five feet? No big deal. That's easy. Okay, we're going to kick this one away. There it goes. Bye-bye. Now, here's another place where I use this club, where I've never had a chance to score ever because I don't have the club. See this thing? This is a bunker. Now, to me, this is always a nightmare, having to hit from here over a bunker. I'm looking at my cart. I'm going, I'm going to blade it. There's no chance I'm going to do well. I'm thinking either it's going to the cart or it's going in the bunker. Well, guess what? 69 degree. All I have to do, there's so much loft. Here, look, here it comes in from the fairway. Better. I go back and through, back and through. No special effects. Just turn and turn. The ball goes high and then it stops. Let's go look at it. Now, remember, this thing would have ended up for sure at the cart or in here. Well, let's go see where it ended up. Is it to an inch? No. But guess what? We're on the green. It was effortless. I'll probably make that putt. That's a good one. I can deal with that. Okay. Let's go for the third shot. Now, this is the hardest one. Let's kick this one away. There's the first one. There's the second one. Okay. Here we go. Everybody's least favorite shot. Short-sided. Oh, boy. Short-sided. The pin's right there. Well, you know if you hit a shot, that thing's gonna end up on the street. We got a cart coming. What's up, bro? Uh, video? A little bit. You wanna say something to my fans? He doesn't wanna say nothing. I'm gonna show you how to hit the short-sided 69 degree wedge, bro. All right. You don't know about the 69, do you? Yeah, okay, I know what a 69 is. <laughs> I've never seen a 69 degree wedge. Well, you're about to see it. How do you hit this short-sided shot? I, I, I use a 60. 
and, okay but a 60 is not enough pretty good there he is what do you think he loves it 69 degree wedge there's the ball do better Use trap 15 also. <laughs>